हेलो व्यूअर्स वेलकम टू स्टडी विथ मास्टर नोट्स अगेन सो हाउ आर यू ऑल व्यूअर्स आई थिंक ऑल यू आर फाइन आई एम ऑल्सो फाइन सो टुडे आई विल स्टार्ट यूनिट ट्वेंटी एट विलियम कार्लोस विलियम्स पोएम्स सॉरी इट इज सॉफ्ट स्टोरी दैट इज एम ए जी सिक्स इग्नो एम ए जी सिक्स अमेरिकन लिटरेचर सो यूनिट ट्वेंटी एट आई विल कवर टूडे so in my previous videos already i have covered american literature almost uh, uh, six uh, blocks i have covered uh, you can go through my all my playlist uh, so you can download all my videos and uh, you can get all the valuable informations about your american literature so let's start so today i will cover unit 28 that is william carlos williams 1883 to 1963 so your upcoming exam is on uh, zoom uh, zoom tournament so i hope all you are preparing well for your exam so let's uh, we are starts so william carlos williams uh, here it is a structure objectives life and works the red will barrow which i will cover today the test of the poem 6 then test of the poem 6 excuse me then background and critical appreciation let us sum up glossary questions and for the reading so one by one i will cover all these things uh, before complete uh, my videos i request you to please uh, like share and subscribe to this channel so that you will get all valuable information and push the bell icon so that you will get uh, my earliest uh, notification about all the mez subjects so here it is the objectives already i have told uh, every unit has its own objectives in this unit also has its own objectives so in this unit we study the life and works of the poet william carlos williams okay so please uh, dear learner Uh, please dear learner my um, sincere request you to uh, visit the study material uh, at as fast as you can so you can get all the uh, complete vocabulary knowledge and uh, all your spelling errors uh, it can be eradicated through uh, your uh, a uh, depth study of the study material so that you will get all the information about this so here you can see william carlos williams okay so william carlos williams and his works and his poem the red will barrow okay so who is the writer of the red will barrow here it is a question can be asked in your ugc net which is uh, already uh, scheduled to uh, 18th june uh, most of the students uh, may appear uh, 18th june uh, ugc net so you can get uh, all the net questions also here uh, so all revised net questions also here so kindly share these videos uh, to your friends so that they will also get Uh, the valuable informations so and his poem the red will barrow in detail williams was an oppositional voice in modern poetry he agreed with many of the modern poets endeavors such as imagism and was also fiercely critical of the expatriate poets okay he was interested in developing a truly robust american voice and idiom in modern poetry He was a strong influence on the movement called objectivism. He did a great deal to support new talent in American poetry in his lifetime. Okay, so here it is the introduction part of the Williams Carlos Williams and his poem, The Red Will Barrow, and uh, his characteristics or his personality. All these are uh, described in objectives. So we will go to the next. works next uh, next stanza that is life and works so how was william carlos williams life and his works so the this poet did the most to support new talent in american poetry 
okay so you will get a clear vision about the poet's uh, interest this poet did the most to support new talent in american poetry after world war 2 he wrote for over 60 years and was both poet and doctor pediatrics was his specialization along with poetry he also wrote plays essays and fiction and was along with hart crane one of the leading inheritors sorry with poetry he also wrote plays essays fiction and was along with hart crane one of the leading inheritors of whitman's mantle in american poetry williams was born in 1883 near peterson new jersey and he lived there all his life His father was an English immigrant and his mother a Puerto Rican who had studied painting in Paris. So who was his father? The father was uh the poet's father was a uh, was an English immigrant and his mother a Puerto Rican. Okay? Who had studied painting in Paris. He was thus exposed to European culture but at the same time had a strong sense of American being his only home although he has uh, he was exposed to European culture but at the same time had a strong sense of America being his only home because uh, we uh, we already studied that uh, in America uh, he lived all his life okay He was thus exposed to European culture but at the same time had a strong sense of America being his only home. He went to local schools as to schools in Switzerland and Paris. After graduating from the Horace Mann High School, he studied medicine at the University of Pennsylvania. Then he became friends with the poets Ezra Pound and Hilda Doolittle. Okay he graduated in 1906 after working in New York City and Germany he returned to New Jersey married Florence Herman and began practicing as a pediatrician he continued seeing patients till a number of strokes in the mid 50s forced him to turn his practice over to one of his sons like Wallace Stevens Williams pursued his career as a poet at night and in between seeing patients okay like well as stevens williams pursued his character a uh, character career as a poet at night so here it is the main key point you can note down by profession he was a pediatrician okay so by profession he was a pediatrician and like well as stevens williams pursued his career as a poet at night okay and in between seeing patients okay so while seeing patients in hospitals so he carried out his poetry writing okay he was determined to be a writer but equally determined not to let go of a doctor's livelihood his practice and his community social projects brought him into contact with a wide variety of people and probably led to the energy and physicality of most of much of his poetry his first book poems was published privately in 1909 the second volume tempers published in 1913 with the help of ezra pound revealed williams interaction with the modern mode in poetry and his attempt to create his own voice okay so here it is william carlos williams in the intellectual circles of new york he came to know well as stevens the poet marian moore and painters like picabia and dacam okay so in the intellectual circles of new york he came to know well as stevens the poet marian moore and painters like picabia and dacam so here it is the picture of william carlos williams you can see then although he disgraced with pound on matters like the revival of old verse poems he agreed with him about his principle of imagism he was also attracted to whitman's celebration of the merely physical and his strong recommendation for a poetry of feeling and of the poet's role as an offholder of liberty and equality his essays in the magazine contact which he edited between 1920 to 1923 with robert mac almon his prose his prose and poetry in spring and all and his essays in the volume in the american grain okay 
so here it is the main key point you can note down here it is the main key point you can note down in the american green 1925 and 1920 to 1923 with robert mac almond his prose and poetry in spring and all 1923 okay then individual even somewhat eccentric american tradition Poetry, Williams argued, should be impelled by the same energies that bring about a revolution. It should run against the, against the establishment. At the same time, it should be grounded in reality. Something he felt, expatriate poet like T. S. Eliot were running away from. Symbolism should not be used to distance the reader of poetry from reality. Meaning should be found in actual things, actual objects and not vague abstractions. The Red Will Varrow is an excellent example of William's concerns about poetry in this sense. So what is imagism and what is symbolism? So here you, you can say at the same time it should be grounded in reality something he felt expatriate poets like T. S. Eliot were running away from. So symbolism should not be used to distance the reader of poetry from reality. Meaning should be found in actual things, actual objects and not vague abstractions. The Red Wheelbarrow is an excellent example of William's concerns about poetry in this sense. He was for re-establishing the cadences, the regimes of American diction in poetry. This he felt would make poetry more down to earth. So poetry should be more down to earth. Here it is the main key point you can note down. According to William Carlos Williams, poetry should be more down to earth. He also thought the very lack of stability of the American language would make it particularly open to innovation and fruitful change. Williams effectively uses fragmentation in syntax to draw attention to the particular and different ordering that the poet's imagination gives to the world of objects in order to turn, into, turn it into poetry. Poetry is not just an imitation but mutation. So what do you mean, how do you mean by mutation? Mutation means some variation. Okay. So mutation means some variation. Mutation means variation or new thing formation that is called mutation. The influence of painting can be seen in his volume Shore Graves 1921 as well as the earlier Spring and All. This is something else he has in common with Pound and Stevens. Dadaist, uh, Dadaist, Expressionist, Cubist, Precisionist, Williams was exposed to all of these modern schools of European painting through art shows in New York City. He borrowed from the Cubist their fragmentation of objects from the Precisionist, the combination of geometry and objective realism. In the 1930s, Williams' poems became one of the models for the objectivism movement. His collected poems 1921 to 1931 was published by the Objectivist Press in 1934. At this time, Williams was also writing a lot of fiction. The great American novel appeared in 1923, A Voyage to Pagani in 1928, and two collections of such stories, The Age of the Knife and Life Along the Pasik. Pasaic River appeared in 1932 and 1938 respectively. The first two novels are mostly autobiographical and deal with the life of an artist. The short stories talk about the bleak, comic and heroic lives of American immigrants. Latin novels like White Mule 1937 and its sequel in the Money 1940 talk of an immigrant's move from rags to riches in an America dominated by business. Despite a series of heart attacks which began in 1948 uh, and which made writing increasingly difficult for him, Williams completed his epic Patterson. The first book was appeared, which appeared in 1946 and subsequent books in 1948, 1949, 1951 and 1958. This epic, the epic is an answer to the Greeks and Romans and an epic about modern metropolis. Book 4 concludes with the hero's return to New Jersey, much like Odysseus return to Itcha in Homer's Odyssey. So William's honesty, his innovation and directness and clarity of his style influenced later poets like Allen Ginsberg, Dennis Lavatov and Robert Kirley. He received a number of awards like the Dial Award, 
1926 the national book award 1950 the bullingen award 1953 and the pulitzer prize 1962 as can be seen from this dates recognition came later rather than earlier in his career the red will barrow test of the poem 6 the red will barrow so much depends upon a red will barrow glazed with rain water beside the white chickens background and critical appreciation the red will barrow 1923 this is a poem in the style of the japanese haiku where a single image is elaborated on and significance of that image is left entirely up to the reader's imagination it is objectivist Uh, rooted in reality and uses no metaphors or symbols to escape from had even mundane reality this fragmentation of syntax gives proof of williams effort to capture the new interesting particularly american cadences in his poetry here the object of williams attention in a red will barrow a humble country implement used for carrying straw or manure or animal food around a farm glazed or made shiny by the rain set up against some white chickens the image becomes pungent because of the contrast between the red of the wheelbarrow and the white of the chickens what is also unusual is that williams can write a poem on such an ordinary farm object poetry can indeed be composed about anything at all the phrase so much depends probably refers to the task the poet sets himself can he indeed compose a poem about a will barrow and some chickens a poem a poem that people will not laugh at a poem or the name the fact that this poem continues to be anthologized 70 odd years after it has it was composed answers all those questions in the affirmative so here it is let us sum up so while william carlos williams believed in the other modern poets credos like pounds imagism he had problems with what he called the expatriate poets flight from reality through symbolism he wanted poems to be sensed as real objects not to blind the reader to reality he influenced the objectivist movement he was also a strong influence in the creation of a robust american tradition in poetry even though some may have seen his efforts in this direction as somewhat cusitic somewhat cusito direction as somewhat cusotic in this endeavor he saw walt whitman as a powerful influence the red will barrow is a characteristically williams poems it elevates a humble object sees it for what it is does not of first get it into a symbol okay does not of first get it into a symbol and writes about it in a plain style that is nevertheless very graphic so here it is glossary imagism a literary movement lost in early 20th century in revolt against romanticism it promoted free verse and precise imagery what is symbolism a movement in france in the late 19th century that later spread to england and america wherein artist artist expressed ideas and emotion indirectly through symbols mutation the act or process of being altered or changed then dadaism a western european artistic and literary movement 1916 to 23 that's the discovery of authentic reality through the evolution of traditional cultural and aesthetic forms by a technique of comic derision in which irrationality charms and intuition were the guiding principles then precisionism a modern school of european painting combining geometry and objective realism objectivism a mode of writing verse that recognizes the poem apart from its meaning to be an object to be dealt with as such it pays particular attention to the structure of the poem and its construction then here it is the questions what is objectivism analyze the red will barrow and say whether or not you think it is an objectivist poem in what sense did william carlos william agree as a poet with his contemporaries like pound and eliot and in what ways did he differ then further reading then it is already covered so in the, in my next class i will go unit 29 ezra pound so for today's class this much william carlos williams so please friends like share and subscribe this channel
and push the bell icon so that you will get earliest notification so thank you thank you viewers